The next thing we'll do is we'll break down our traps. And, and some of this stuff you can use in any kind of press that you're using. Um, but we just call it two-on-one corral drill. We're trying to corral and work on our trapping. So what we'll do is we'll get a ball handler. I'll come here out in blue in here. Get right underneath the basket. Because then two guys in blue. Can you guys come here? Hey, and the, you two guys get with the basketball. You, you three guys get right here underneath. And then you two guys. Can you guys come out here? So what we'll do is we'll put somebody, we'll have an on-ball defender right here. All right, and then we'll start the same way with you with the ball, giving it to him. All right, so, and then we'll have another defender right here. Same way, you're going to shove it in his gut. That's why we know we're starting. All right, and then what we're doing is now I want you, once you put it in there, I want you to try and force him to a side. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go, let's just go slow motion here, force him to a side. Okay, now you've, you've got to sprint and you're letting him pass you. All right, go sprint, try to cut him off. And then now we're trying to box him in. Once he gets near the sideline, you get more to the sideline. We're trying to box him in. We're using the sideline and then here, right here. So you, you, this person, you have to be completely square to the sideline. And we can't let him go backwards on the dribble. All right, if you want to keep going towards that sideline, great. Because eventually he's going to run out of room. And we're going we're to be right here. And then we're going to close him in. And we can't let him split us. So we're trying to X right here. And if he tries to split us, we have to take a charge. If he's trying to step in there with the shoulders, our, our kids are going, ah, oh, they're falling and taking a charge. So anytime that they're trying to split us, it's a charge. All right. So all right, let's go live. Let's see if we can do this live. Yep, ready? Go, go, yep, good. Okay, go. Cut him off, cut him off the trap. Okay, don't let him go back. Good, good, good. All right, you, you guys, you next sprint back, step up. We'll, hey, what we'll do is we'll go, out, no, you two. Yeah, you two stay, and what we'll do is I'll have the, the rest of the team right here, each one of them have a ball, and you'll go through every one, of the, every one of the players. We'll just go through these four right now, okay? Let's go, good. Okay, cut him off, cut him off, try to go backwards. All right, stop. See, this is, a, this is the angle that we're talking about. Come on. That was good on your part. We, we do not want him to go backwards. So if he starts to turn, come on, I'm like this. I keep sliding, I keep sliding. I do not let him reverse the ball on a dribble. All right, next. Go. Okay, good. Cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. There you go, we got him. All right, and then what I'll do is then now you be up in front. You be on the ball, and then you switch. We got to get this guy, right? All right, here we go. Oh, man, I'll go give it back. Oh, 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 oh man. Put it in his chest. Get up in there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Let him go by. Yeah, good. Hey, don't reach. Don't reach. Maybe, I know in pride for you all, they let you guys get away with a lot more than they do in high school. But, the, hey, when we get traps, and that kind of brings up a good point, is when we get traps, we, we got to convince our players that we're not going to rip it from the ball handler. The way we're going to get steals is it's going to be from off stealing passes. Because if we start getting into this and this, we get these crazy refs here. I don't know about you guys, but then they, they just want to call everything. So we're, we're definitely looking to steal the pass as opposed to ripping it from somebody. All right, one more person. One more. Cut him off, cut him off. Now box him in, box him in, box him in. Yeah, good. You see how he didn't let him re reverse the ball. So that's good, that's good. So one of the most important things that you have to have is ball pressure. So th a couple of those drills kind of get our kids to thinking about ball pressure. If you don't have ball pressure and the point guard can survey the whole floor, the press is not going to be effective.